In this video, I'm going to show you how to safely perform CPR or a catch photo and release on a striped bass like, like this one. On this kayak fishing trip, I immediately caught a few mackerel to use as bait using my sabiki rig. I live lined one mackerel with a circle hook in through its nostrils and tried to troll around for a striper. I have caught a lot of fish this way. However, the, the bait fish got off the hook somehow. Perhaps it was eaten or perhaps it got loose. Since I do not have a live well, I start to use a dead mackerel as bait instead. I use a circle hook up through its chin and out through its forehead, and I troll that mackerel around like a lure. The hook closes its mouth so it looks like a natural fish as I troll around near the rocks. This is my secret weapon, and I've caught a lot of striped bass this way as well. The striped bass like to hunt for their prey near the rocks or near the shoreline, so my favorite way of fishing for striped bass is trolling bait or lures alongside rocky shorelines. The water depth is also shallow enough so that my bait will be in the sweet spot to get taken by a striped bass. I always feel like trolling along the shoreline is like making a thousand casts as I paddle my kayak around the area. When the striper hits, I make sure that I stay vertical and balanced on my kayak. I also make sure that the drag is not too tight so that the fish can run if needed without breaking the line or tipping my kayak over. It is important to bring the fish in as quickly as possible, within a minute or so, uh, so that the fish does not get too tired from the fight. Once I land the fish, I make sure to have a, a rod length of line slack so that I can put my fishing pole vertical and the leader will be within reach of my left arm to land the fish. I then clamp the striped bass with my fish grip, the orange plastic tool, to lock the bottom jaw of the striper. I keep the fish in the water while I dehook it. I wet my hands before I touch the fish so that I don't wipe away the slime from on its scales. I also hold it below its belly when I lift it out of the water to cradle its vital organs. And as soon as I bring it in, I want to quickly measure it and take the photo. Here in Boston, the fish has to be between 28 inches and 35 inches to be a keeper. I have markings on my paddle to measure the fish. This fish was 1 or 2 inches too short. To release the fish safely, you have to revive them as they are tired from the fight and tired of being out of the water. I revive this striped bass by pulling them along in the ocean water to give them some fresh ocean water moving through their gills. I pull this fish along around while pinching its lower jaw. And as soon as I feel the fish starting to bite on my thumb, I feel it's ready to swim away. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click like, comment, or subscribe. If you have any tips for safe catch photo and release for striped bass, please share them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks.